dear God. Our world continues to offer us challenges each day. The daily news tells us about the prevalence of illness, wars, natural disasters, political strife. What can we do with all this? At times we long to escape into a simpler world with easy answers. This world is not one Jesus promises his followers though. In a challenging voice, Jesus asks us today what he asks his closest followers years ago. Is my word too hard for you to follow? Do you wish to go away? Perhaps although we do wish to go somewhere easier than following in Jesus' path in our hearts, we must admit that we really don't want to do that. We have experienced enough gifts of the Spirit in our lifetime so far to want to do better following Jesus than we have up till now. We pray to respond to Jesus as Peter did. Lord, to whom can we go? You have the words of eternal life. With your grace, we can hear these words anew each day and trust that you will be with us as we try once again to follow you. We continue to ask your loving care for all our sisters and brothers who are suffering, for those who are trying to rebuild their lives after disasters, violence, and war, for those suffering from illness in mind, body, or spirit, for those struggling to support their families, for all those who have lost their homes. Help us wisely discern how we can help others and grant us the strength to turn discernment into a new reality for them. We ask your blessing for all those on our prayer list, especially Mary Ann White, Essie Adams, Tom Keller, Rob Mattis, Judy Willoughby, Mike Rathsack, Debbie Rathsack, Ava Brewer, Bonnie Payne, Doug Ha, Barb Ross, John Willis, Carrie Hayden, Ryan Griffith, Pat Noland, Evelyn and Olivia Nemesek, Walter Brueggemann, Salem Maisie Hart, and Wendy Jones, and for those you now name. We remember those who have died, especially those we now name. The Reverend Catherine Pierce Clausen, We now close with words from the Book of Common Prayer. O God, by whom the meek are guided in judgment and light rises up in darkness for the godly, grant us in all our doubts and uncertainties the grace to ask what you would have us do that the spirit of wisdom may save us from all false choices and that in your light we may see light and in your straight path may not stumble. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.